Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a pretty cool application that was recently released called Macintosh.js. Now what this is, is an electron-based application that is designed specifically to run Mac OS 8 on either Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. And this is developed by Felix Reisberg. Now that name might sound familiar to some of you guys, who may have seen a video that I did a few years ago on the Windows 95 standalone application because that was also developed by Felix Reisberg and what that was it was a dedicated application that allowed you to run a essentially a Windows 95 virtual machine without any setup required you were able to just download this application run it and you would have Windows 95 set up and ready to go there was no install required no virtual machine creation downloading an ISO image or going through the setup process and that's essentially essentially what we have here with this application. Now, Mac OS 8 actually celebrated its 23rd birthday recently in late July. So this application uh, was released around that time, which is pretty awesome. And just like the Windows 95 application, this is obviously still a virtual machine. And as Felix says specifically down here, it's a virtual machine emulating a 1991 Macintosh Quadra 900 with a Motorola CPU, which Apple used before switching to the PowerPC architecture in the mid 1990s. Macintosh .js is a standalone application that doesn't require any setup. All you have to do is go to this GitHub page, I'll have it linked down below, download the version that pertains to the operating system and architecture that you're using. So without any further ado, let's take a look at it. So I've got the uh, application downloaded right here. It comes in a zip file, so I've just extracted it. And all you have to do to run it is uh, launch, in this case since I'm on Windows, it's going to be macintosh.js.exe. So just double click on that. And here it is, here is the emulator right here. It's gonna start Mac OS immediately. And boom, just like that, we are now loaded into a install of Mac OS 8. Again, with no setup, no downloading any other files, it's all right here for us. Now there is this uh, welcome to Macintosh.js uh, text file on the desktop. I would recommend opening this up and reading it because it does give you some information about it. It's got the author's Twitter handle here if you wanna follow him there. Uh, I will have this link down below as well if you want to uh, check out his Twitter profile. And he also has bundled a few apps and games for us as well as some sick videos <laughs> in this folder here. So you can obviously do everything you can normally do in a Mac OS 8 installation. We can go up here and view the about information. So this is specifically Mac OS 8.1. This computer, this uh, virtual machine has 256 megabytes of built-in memory. And uh, and yeah, so there you go if, if you wanted to read information about that. Now, because this is a, a standalone application, there aren't really any ways to uh, change the amount of memory that the uh, virtual machine has allocated to it. Now, what you can do, which is pretty cool, is you can go into this help uh, button right down here at the bottom. And this brings up this little help window right here. And one of the really cool features of this application is that it actually has file sharing functionality and it's super easy to do. So when you launch Macintosh.js for the first time in your user directory, it will create a Macintosh.js folder. So you can open that by clicking on this link here. And this is the folder that you use to share files with the virtual machine. And also you can access this folder from within the virtual machine put files from the VM into this folder and then you can access them on your host computer here so I've got this image I'm gonna drag it into this folder I'm gonna minimize that now what you have to do to for the files to actually show up you have to restart the application now you can't do that by going up to special and clicking on restart because that will restart the operating system but the application itself will remain open so to restart the application go to special and click on shut down and then it's going to save the uh, virtual machine state and close out of it. Now go back into the Macintosh.js folder, launch it again, and this time, once it loads the emulator dependencies and starts Mac OS 8, now what you can do is go into this Unix volume on your desktop and go into the Macintosh.js folder. And here is that PNG file that I copied over. This is a image of some of my merch that is now available if, if you wanna check it out in the merch shelf below this video. Uh, but now Mac OS 8, in, in this case, does not have an application to open it, so it's not going to be able to open the, the image itself. But that's how you do it and, and again I can do the same thing like if I wanted to copy say there's a installation of Netscape Navigator in here so I can expand this folder here 
uh, I can go into the internet folder here and there's a copy of Netscape Navigator right here. Say I wanted to access this on my host computer for whatever reason. Well, you can do that. You just got to make a copy of it, drag it over to this folder, and then uh, you know, you'll be able to access it from the Macintosh.js folder in your user folder on your computer. What you can also do, which is really cool, is mount disk images like ISO images or floppy images. And doing that is extremely simple as well. All you have to do is open up that same uh, folder inside of your user folder on your host computer, drag the ISO image that you want to mount in the virtual machine over to it. So I've got one right here and then minimize it. And all you have to do is restart the, uh, the virtual machine once again. So go up to special and shut down and then launch it again. And now you can see we've got this new micro shaft folder on the desktop because uh, I did mount a copy of Microsoft Windblows 98. Yes, I do have a copy of this. If you guys want to see a, a video on this, be sure to let me know in the comments. It's a pretty uh, interesting program. So that's how easy it is to mount disk images inside of the of the virtual machine. And I mean, like I said, there's there's all these uh, these games and these applications in here. There's actually a copy of uh, Oregon Trail and Dungeons and Dragons. So if you guys want to check those out. Uh, that's that's how you do it and again uh, under applications like I said there's a few Adobe programs there is uh, both Internet Explorer and Netscape Navigator there's a uh, stuff it expander movie player remote access client folder lots of stuff in here and installing your own applications is just as easy as I just showed you with uh, Microsoft Windblows just literally copying the ISO image over to that folder restarting the VM and that's that's literally how you do it now whenever you make any sort of changes to the virtual machine it's recommended that you shut it down properly by going to the special menu and clicking on shut down if you just go down here and click on this quit button it'll come up with this don't lose your data screen and it'll say warning all changes to your virtual Macintosh will be lost unless you shut down the virtual machine and it tells you how to do it right here and if you notice this pop-up window and just the design of the application itself this little bar down here are in the Mac OS 8 Platinum design language, which is just a really nice touch. But yeah, guys, there you have it. That is a look at the standalone uh, dedicated Mac OS 8 Electron-based application by Felix Reisberg. Again, I'll have this link down below as well as Felix's Twitter page if you want to check it out. And I would I would highly recommend it if you have never used Mac OS 8 or if you have and just want to experience it again in a very fast and easy way, this is definitely the way to do it. There's Again, there's no setup required as you guys saw and it's just it's just super simple super easy to do so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever i upload a new video which i do every single week multiple times per week on this channel and as always guys i want to thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next video